Okay, today we're going to make a simulation of kinetic and potential energy in Unity. So go ahead and open up Unity and do File, New Project, and once you get a new project open, go ahead and go to Assets, Import Package, and then Custom Package. Go to the uh, folder where you have the kinetic and potential prefab and click Open. Click All and then click Import. Once that's imported, go ahead and click this right here, the kinetic and potential is what it's called, and drag that up into the hierarchy. Once that's in the hierarchy, go ahead and click the main camera and then click the delete button to delete it. After that, click the terrain, hover over the scene view, and then click F. That'll zoom out for you, and then you can see what we have. So go ahead and orient the view so you can see what we have going on. So now if you go to the camera, you should be able to see in this camera preview a prefab of um, three different stands with balls on top. Okay, now that we have the prefab in there and it's all into the scene, if you click play, you'll see that nothing happens. Like, we can't control anything that happens, and um, nothing happens by itself. So, to make something happen, we'll go ahead and click uh, Maximize on Play, just to make sure that the screen uh, goes as big as it can whenever we click Play, and we're gonna, get, we're gonna click Play again. So now, we're going to go over here to the uh, Project folder, we're gonna cr click Create, and we're gonna click JavaScript and we're gonna name it destroy objects and then once that's uh, named you just double click it and it should open in mono develop like you see here now that it's open you got you can go ahead and highlight all of this right here the function start and the function update and delete it just backspace it out so right now we're gonna do initially the variable declaration and these two um, forward slashes mean a uh, comment so whatever is in front after those comments isn't interpreted by the computer as code so we're gonna go ahead and declare a variable for the small stand and that's going to be a game object. Remember to always end these lines in semicolons. We're going to make another variable for medium stand. Oops. Make sure you uh, watch your ca ha um, whether you have words uh, capitalized or not because that's important. So medium stand which is a game object get a semicolon oops and then we're gonna have one more called large stand which is also a game object so when we declare uh, variables like this you can go in to the um, the hierarchy once you have the script attached to whatever you want and drag things into it. So after this we're gonna start the function <coughs> and our function is going to be function on GUI and GUI GUI stands for graphical user interface we're going to have an open bracket and then a close bracket so in this we're going to want if the GUI button is pressed we want to destroy the stands so to do that we're going to do if 
GUI dot button rect and then it's going to f be followed by a set of four different numbers these first numbers these first two are where the button is in 3d space so let's do 10 and then let's do the second one is 70 and these last two which we're going to set as 330 and 30 are how big the button is so we're going to do another parenthesis another comma and in uh, quotations we're going to put whatever we want the button to say so let's go ahead and do uh, click to convert potential energy to kinetic energy end quotation close parenthesis close parenthesis all right so we're going to do an open bracket and then we're going to do destroy open parenthesis and then we're going to do small stand close parenthesis and semicolon and we're going to do this for small medium and large stand so we're going to do destroy whoops medium stand close parenthesis semicolon and destroy large stand close parenthesis semicolon so now if we do another close bracket and we save this code so we go over here to save and click back into unity we need to check down here in the very bottom and see if we get any errors it will show up in red but if not we can take our code that we have right here in the project tab and drag it up onto our camera so now that's in our camera if we click the camera over here in the hierarchy tab you can see that it made small medium and large stand over here in the inspector view okay so now that the uh, script that we just wrote is onto our camera in the hierarchy view and you can see it over here on the inspector if we click play you're gonna notice that we get this button over here that says click to convert potential energy to kinetic energy now you'll notice if you click this button nothing will happen that's because we don't have anything attached to the small medium and large stand for for uh, to destroy so we're gonna go over here and click st the stands we're gonna click and drag small stand it over here to small stand in the inspector we're going to take medium stand over to the medium stand in the inspector and we're going to do the same for large stand so now if we click play and we click click convert potential energy to kinetic, kinetic energy the stands disappear and you can see the balls uh, fall down and you can see once the stand disappears all of the potential energy that these spheres had gets converted into kinetic energy going toward the ground okay so one flaw you might notice when we click play and then we click click convert put, click to convert potential energy to kinetic, to kinetic energy you might notice that nothing can be done to reset the scene back to the way it was with the stands and that's a problem in case somebody else wants to use the simulation after you and you don't want to close the program and open it back up so we're going to click play again to end the end the simulation we're going to we're going to go over here to file we're going to click save scene and we're going to save the scene as um let's name it drop okay so now if we go back over to file click build settings and we click drop over here in the project view and we drag it into the scenes in build section right here you'll see that it shows up as drop.unity and you want to make sure it has that check mark right beside it we're going to close this window and we're going to go back to our script called destroy objects so we're going to double click double click it again and you'll 
you'll be able to see our script so we're gonna add more functionality to our program using this script so we're gonna right after this close bracket right here we're gonna hit enter and we're gonna going to do another button and this button is going to reset the scene so to do that we're gonna have to make another button so we're gonna do if GUI dot button rect and for this one you'll notice we'll have to do 10 for the first number and then if we put 70 for this first number it would show up above or below the same button so for this one we're going to make the second number 110 and we're going to make the button the same size so we're going to do 330 again and we're going to do 30 and we're going to name this button reset close parenthesis semicolon alright so we're going to have to do another open bracket and another close bracket and in between those you're going to do application whoops dot load level open parenthesis quotation mark drop close parenthesis and then close quotation and close parenthesis and then another semicolon now we're going to go back up to file and save and check for errors again down here in the bottom so you'll see that if we typed it like I did we get an error and if you click this down here in the left it'll open up this window and it says expecting close bracket found a semicolon so if we double click this you can see it takes us to this line right here and looking at this line compared to our other button you can tell that we missed a close parenthesis so now if we go back to file and save go back to unity and click clear it that error goes away alright so now if we click play we have two buttons one to click to convert potential energy to kinetic energy which destroys the stands and then another called reset which should reset the stands. so if we go ahead and click the top button to uh, destroy the stands you'll see that the stands disappear like just like before and um, you'll see that they'll just keep on going but if you want to reset the scene and you click this button right here that says reset the stands come back and that's because it reloads the scene from the beginning